So, um, it, it's time to make my uh, mandatory uh, backtrack, backpedal, the uh, pyro allegations. Um, and I, I want to take no blame for it or backlash because I'm a popular YouTuber. And he claims here that Pyro could have actually been lying in his response here. They already kind of have this notion that he did it and he's not responding. So it looks pretty guilty on his part to a lot of people too. Now this is the main part of the Google Doc that really set me off. I believe this piece of evidence is enough to say Pyro is in the wrong. Whether Pyro does respond to everything or just pulls the mini lad and ignores it for as long as he can is still up in the air. This document makes like insane assumptions based Based on limited and broken evidence. That's what I would say if I joined the herd of sheep. Uh, but as always, I'm always right, and I d I'm not even saying it as an ego anymore. Like, you guys not seeing a freaking pattern here? Like, I know it it's gonna hurt you guys and get you upset that how could somebody like Sen, he's so mean and terrible and morally incorrect and doesn't pretend to be a good person on the internet for us to see. How can he be right so many times? Well, it's because I'm honest, I'm blunt, and I, I'm not an idiot, most importantly. At least not anymore. So, that being stated, let's go over the Pyro thing. Pyro made a response. Pyro said a bunch of, you know, stuff, which was confirming certain things, debunking other things, making a point that well i mean why did you guys not cross reference what i had stated with that new google doc it's almost like you guys didn't do it because you wanted to maliciously paint a narrative and that's exactly what it was so these people pull go ahead and it's so reminiscent of politics they go ahead and they paint these stupid narratives and they take something and they make the worst possible interpretation of it. They go ahead and they proclaim as truth, but it's actually just gossip and they just spin it. They spin it. I think it's the most disgusting thing, although I understand it when commentators like Turkey Tom, who are no better and no different than them really, except that they got popular, Turkey Tom got popular, he's exactly has the same mindset as these people and is probably just as scummy and vindictive and malicious. So it makes sense why he'd be like, well, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's typical capo BS, right? It's I'm freaking believable. But you know what? <sighs> Either your friend today can stab you in the back tomorrow. So it's, it's not surprising uh, this really holds true on the Internet more than anything. Uh, nobody wants to give Turkey Tom shit, of course. That's how it's going right now. Augie made a decent video. Uh, my my cute little my cute little dog Augie made a great video. Uh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too biased. Of course, he he danced around the topic of you know calling out any other commentator, right? Like like Turkey Tom, who definitely deserves it. But of course, we're gonna like overlook that shit and just say he's still right by technicality or some dumb crap like that you know we had my boy patches make a video which essentially he he fucked up at first uh so he needed <laughs> he needed to take it down and then re-upload it uh because he messed up something so props to him for actually doing that although and i've told him this already patches not calling out the turkey tom guy either but that's understandable uh, he stated that he, he is going to cover his stuff and what he said and that the other guys can like defend themselves if they need to, right? We got people like Optimus and Prison Mate Luke, which were essentially, they were passing it on, right? And this is the most funny thing, right? And this is ain't me just defending anyone. This is just me stating facts and, and how it's so funny in, in the most fucked up way possible. That we have people like Optimus and Prison Mate Luke that basically ran with the story that definitively Pyro is guilty, even stating it in their fucking videos, right? So instead of calling those two retards out, you know what Nicholas Diorio decides to do? He decides to grab the smug commentating community because that's the smart thing to do. No, really, it is the smart thing to do. Why would you want to upset prison mate Luke, who's a hot up-and-coming commentator with over a hundred thousand subscribers, making a lot of money, and why would you want to, why would you want to damage his credibility when you can network with him? Why would you want to damage Optimus's credibility when he has one million subscribers, all that clout, all that money, all that following why? It's perfectly natural for Diorio and any of these other commentary snakes to throw the smaller creators under the bucket because they have nothing that they want or need. Diorio needs Optimus. Diorio needs Prismate Luke if he ever wants to get him in that 
Illuminati social circle of whatchamacallit. If you ever once again get into that vortex of snakes and rats, rodents, known as the commentary community. So, you know, there's that. The networking happens, you know. I'm gonna promote Turkey Tom video in, in the link. They make good videos saying how this correct one week later. Alright, so like, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna defend, but I'm not gonna condemn, but I'm gonna defend myself. And that's another thing these fucking commentating retards do. They go ahead and they gather together like some stupid mob, right? And they think they got the entire story nailed down, so they regurgitate the same fucking garbage that each and every one of them are, are saying. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna state it because I have balls. Freaking Tom, Patches, Optimus, all of you guys, the same fucking bullshit. Here, I'll give I'll give Patches this. There's some things that he said that are different. He's actually careful. Um, if you follow him, you know he is uh, more of the uh, on a little more on the authentic side than the bullshit side. Uh, so it's actually kind of it's. It, I guess the commentating vortex took him because they need a little bit of that authenticity. So I'll give Patches that. But it was basically the same narrative, uh, Pyro Man's still bad. Any way you chop it up, you know, you could say, well, I said Pyro was in the wrong, but so was Ivory. But uh, same, th the thing is, it's still Pyro Man bad, right? Um, I hate to be very black and white about this, but that's just the way the internet understands things. And I feel like it's time to give you guys what you want. You want that black and whiteness, don't you? Y'all, that 90% of you need that black and whiteness because God forbid we use our brains. Oh, that'd be too much work and we don't want that. So my final, final stance on this is you commentary peeps are fucking snakes. You throw smaller creators under the fucking bus if they're not your capos and they're not doing your work for you. Like, you know... There was this one time, and Diorio is the sneakiest motherfucker out of everyone. I can't believe I didn't fucking see this before. Diorio promoted a small commentating channel, like, what, a week ago? Because that small commentating channel made a video saying, Small commentary channels are bad. Oh, irony at its fucking finest. But Diorio needed to promote that, and you saw all the fucking same commentary retards in the comment section saying, Neat video, guy! Ho -ho -ho. Yeah, because the title is Small Commentary Channels are Dumb, basically. That, that was the title, and you need to push that message so that small commentary channels get buried, because small commentary channels are the ones that aren't getting you shit and are the ones that you can bury later on. They're the only ones that are in, in, in trying to get some clout out of you by being on your good side, or that are just gonna call you out. So of course you'd wanna bury them. It's fucking logical, it's politics 101, my guy. Like if any of you guys out there literally take a fucking course for once in your fucking lives, right? Like an actual fucking course, you know, an educational course, not a retard, on fucking uh, YouTube, going ahead and saying the same fucking garbage like the Oreo, like Turkey Tom, like Augie, like Bo Blacks. Although Augie and Bo Blacks, they're still retards, but they're kind of like more like entertaining to me now. Like they're entertainment so much more than, you know, actually me hanging off their work. I, I would have to have a retard moment, I guess. Because there's no fucking way I'll take entertainers and present them as factual evidence ever. Because if I'm gonna do that and you're willing to do that, who the fuck needs the law anymore? Who the fuck needs cops, prosecutors, or any form of lawyers? It's basically what you're saying when you're taking these exposed commentary channels at face value. That's what you're saying when you're taking these channels like Tom, like the Oreo. Even Tommy C, who's now doing like a 180, but saying that he's not doing a 180 or whatever the fuck. And that's what happens when you're taking these people. Now, as for the pyro thing, do I want to lay into pyro? Um, not really. Uh, the reason I don't really want to lay into pyro is... Pff, one, it'd be like beating a dead horse, to be frank. Like, we've already had most of the commentary people saying, from a legal standpoint, pyro has really done nothing wrong, right? I, I've heard that been like that's been said numerous times already and that's honestly enough for me at this point because it's like if you guys can't even get your your bullshit straight with 
you know, you guys mob together and you focus, hyper-focus on one point, but you don't, you can't hyper-focus on whether or not it's legal or in the legality, blah, blah, blah. Then there's nothing to discuss at, on that stance. It just goes to let me get clicks for my video, let me feel like possibly a good person, let me gain a following. Which by the way, one of the big content creators actually admitted to, nobody actually cares about whether or not Pyro, uh, you know, took advantage of this person. It's all about gaining money and a following. Yeah, yeah. So don't give me this morality bullshit where people pretend like they're doing this out of the goodness of their heart. Because even the nicest, goodest, goodest, goodest person can just admit that nobody actually cares about the fucking victims. And all they care about is the money and the following. But there is no middle ground. Originally, Ivory was labeled as a manipulative clout chaser that could do no wrong because people chose to believe my screenshots over his. And you turn out to be what a lot of people were calling you from the start. A clout chaser trying to ruin someone's career on YouTube, let alone on the internet, for attention. But now those same people are saying I'm guilty because they read this document and didn't bother to cross-reference it with my original statement. Not only is there proof of Pyro knowing that Ivory was underage, but definitive proof that the messages were real, along with other damning evidence too. And also, these are the same people that say, I shouldn't take my time with this response. It's gone too far and too much has come out for him to take his time with it, like he did with his last response. There needs to be a middle ground.